Well, is Pope Francis getting ready to fulfill a 900-year-old prophecy that ultimately will lead to his resignation as Pope? But will that elevate him then to another spot? We're going to get into the details of it, guys. Before I go any further, if you guys could do me a big favor and help me out here, a couple ways you could help me out. First of all, you guys could help support me on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. The link is in the description. Right now, you get all my bonus content there. But pretty soon, you might be getting all the content there with YouTube cracking down on everything lately, giving me all kinds of warnings. Who knows? I could be gone from here at any point. If you want to ensure that doesn't happen and you keep up with all of my stuff, then I recommend you go sign up over on Patreon. Also, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. So let's get into this here about Pope Francis, a 900-year-old prophecy. We're going all the way back to St. Malachi, where he talked about the final pope would be the 112th pope, that this man would lead his church into persecution, into deception, and ultimately he would bring about the end of the Catholic church and thus ending all popes from that point forward. This would then usher in the new world order, the one world religion, the Antichrist kingdom. But now let me Fast forward into current times right now. Many people are saying, in fact, Vatican officials are saying that Pope Francis is going to be resigning at the end of 2020. Well, at the time that I'm recording this video, we only have a few weeks left in this year, if this were to be true. Now, need to point out here that Pope Francis had announced that coming up in March of 2021, that he would be heading over to Baghdad, Iraq. Now, he had canceled all of his previous trips, you know, with everything going on this year with 2020, but that he was going to be getting back out there again. I think that would be significant, him going to the Middle East, especially Iraq, where many people, according to Bible prophecy, believe that Iraq will once again be known as Babylon, as it was back in ancient times, that the Antichrist would actually set up his headquarters from Babylon, which we now know as Iraq. That could be tremendously significant, but he could still take that trip but maybe he doesn't have the Pope title. Now, if the Vatican officials think that, you know, Pope Francis wanted to get accomplished in seven years in a five-year plan, basically do it in seven years. He would have resigned earlier, but they say he needed at least seven years to do it. He took, as we know, over his Pope in 2013 when Pope Benedict resigned. But if he were to resign here at the end of 2020, that would be amazing if this prophecy actually ends up coming to fruition. But like I mentioned here, could he then have another title? What title would that be? Well, that would be the false prophet talked about in the book of Revelation that would assist the Antichrist. So it's not to say that he wouldn't still take this trip to Iraq in March of 2021. He could still do that, but by his real name of Jorge Mario Bergoglio. And that could be the name that goes along with the Antichrist, the false prophet Francis or Bergoglio, however you want to look at it. Either way, very interesting to see what happens here as this Pope we know has been one of the most destructive Popes that has just completely ripped the Catholic Church, his progressive agenda. This man doesn't represent anything to do with Christ. So this goes right along with what uh, St. Malachi had to say. Very interesting times that we are living in, guys. I'm going to put the full link down below in the description if you would like to read it in full. And I welcome your thoughts and comments on this down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.